G'day folks and uh, welcome back to uh, Pure Eco Homes uh, YouTube blog. We're on the site of Australia's largest high performance build, weighing in at uh, 55 squares or 519 square meters. Um, we're going to look today at uh, uh, how we install the matrix panel on this section of the front and side facade. So uh, I'm going to take you around, I'm going to show you how we do it right from the start, how we seal it and, 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 and what the finished product looks like. Uh, and look, it's really important that you get this type of product absolutely right, because if you don't, guess what's going to happen? Water leakage. So make sure your builder gets it absolutely 100% right. Better still, call Pure Eco Homes. Uh, okay, so let's let's move on and have a look at what Ryan, uh, our chief, is doing um, with his battens and his panels. Okay, so what you see here is uh, Ryan's actually already put his battens up uh, onto the wall. You can see the Sigma uh, MyVest uh, wind tightly membrane on the wall there. Um, and as we're moving in close, you can see how. Uh, the matrix panel is sitting on the batten there and how Ryan's actually put it on so here we go okay and then the uh, wig glove forming the airtight seal just on there okay so this Look, this takes a fair bit of calculation to actually work out. It's not a question of just starting from one corner and uh, whacking it on. Um, it does take a fair bit of calculation, especially when you're trying to follow a pattern that's uh, been predetermined by the architect. So here we're using a staggered pattern, which is much more difficult than just sheets going up and down. So Ryan's had to do a fair bit of calculations to actually get this to work the way it looks. Okay, and we'll go around the corner and just have a look and see what it looks like up that side. So here we are on the front facade side, um, and you can see you can see the way the pattern is is, is working here. And what I'm going to do is I want to focus on this corner join here because this is a real potential for um, for problems uh, occurring now. Let's have a look at this, this little uh, um, setup here that I've got, I've done for you previously. So we've actually got uh, the fiber cement batten there, and we've got another batten just over there. And these are your two matrix sheets, as will be sitting on the wall. Now, you can see that there is a, a center section, which is a metal trim, and so the sheets actually sit and they butt in to that ridge just over here okay now uh, what Ryan always does is he puts uh, Sikaflex on on this leading edge here so under under the sheet puts the sheet onto it puts Sikaflex around this edge here so that he gets a watertight join and I'm going to show you how he's done that um, so that's, that's the main setup uh, that you can see there, which is now on the wall, all right? So if we look at that join that we're talking about, you can see what Ryan's done here. He's, once he's put it on, he's actually got, not only has he run a silicon bead on the inside, but he's actually run one on the outside as well. That's because when the water hits, it's gonna come down. If there's a gap in there, it's gonna go down behind the sheet. So he's leaving nothing to chance. Okay, and a good bead of silicon uh, sicker there. Now let's look at this join here because I want you to get a grip on this. Um, so we've got a join between the matrix and the foam, and we've got a step flash there. So any water hitting that drops, any water hitting that drops down, comes rolls down this way. But this is the issue here. Okay, so Ryan's got a batten, a fiber cement batten sitting on the underneath of that sheet runs all the way down that's silicon the top of that is silicon once that sheet has been put down then we run another thick bead of silicon join 
uh, which is the Sika Flex Pro, right down there. So there's absolutely no chance that that is going to leak. Once your renderer comes in, he's going to render around, put an XE on there, and take you back to that point there. All right, so you get a nice clean line down there. So this matrix is going to be painted in a color called Timeless Gray, and then this one here is going to be Acrotex rendered uh, in what we call a natural white. So there'll be a nice sharp line down there and a good contrast between the two. And I want to show you something else. I want to show you the top of the window here. Okay. Um, and Ryan's just there. Say hi, Ryan, to the YouTube fans on our yeah. blog. Yeah. He's the man that's uh, in charge here. But anyway, have a look at this join here. Okay, so on top of the window there, um, the matrix is sitting hard up against it, nice and tight. And we're going to run a nice thick bit of thicker silicon across the top there, even it out. And, and, and pay attention to this one here, folks. Look at this, okay? So there's, a, there's a, a, a lump in there that is angled upwards. So again, we've got a nice tight seal in there, okay? Folks, this, this, this product... If your builder, your installers don't know what they're doing, it can be tantamount to disaster. You won't see it straight away, but it's going to show up in, in a couple of years or so in all sorts of problems and probably leakages on the inside. So don't take the chance. Make sure your builder knows what he's doing with it. And better still, call Pure Eco Homes and we'll help you out. Aussie Salin signing off. Have a look at our view that we've got today, 21 degrees in Melbourne, absolutely gorgeous. Hey guys, this is uh, Ozzy Salins here again, uh, just a, a quick short uh, extension to the uh, video that we did on uh, the Matrix uh, installation. Um, now, if your uh, installers, your builder is good enough to get his Matrix sheets nice and tight to the eave, Okay, um, then what you can do is rather than putting that ugly quad uh, across the top end, uh, across the, the join there, um, you can actually cork it, again using Sikaflex, give it a nice thick bead, and you can see the nice uh, line that uh, we've got there. Uh, Ryan's cut his sheets pretty tight, so uh, we can that allows us to cork it and get a really lovely finish without the need to resort to, um, to quadding, which... Uh, well, covers up mistakes, really. Aussie Salins, signing off.